is leadership development important for lawyers and um, at what point in their career should they start be looking at leadership and developing these skills? Yeah, yeah. leadership development I think is crucial for anyone who aspires to become leaders. Um, this is no exception for lawyers. Um, we see many lawyers actually rise to the leadership position not solely based on the capability of developing and managing people. In many cases we see those lawyers get promoted to leadership or managerial positions based on how successful in, they are in the craft. Um, this is actually quite bizarre because we know a lawyer cannot become a barrister or a judge without going through extensive training and development. But why we think it is okay for a lawyer to become a leader or manager without going through extensive leadership development? You know, if we don't cultivate a leadership um, in our people, in our lawyer, then what they will do is they will perform leadership roles by applying the skills that actually got them where they were as lawyers. And that is inadequate. Um, why we should, you know, when we should develop their skills. I guess we should really develop them as they were, when they were students in the universities. Um, faculty should um, intentionally model leadership and demonstrate to the students what it means by becoming a leader. And students, on the other hand, can observe the professor's actions and interactions with others to learn how to address their colleagues and classmates and how to respect one another and what it means by becoming a professional. And I think in, in recruitment I hear a lot of law students saying to me that the reason I entered into law school is because um, I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to advocate for those who can't advocate for themselves. I wanted to make the community a better place. Um, I think that's inspiration for leadership. And us as leaders and managers and mentors, we owe them. We need to set them up for success, not just in the areas of law, but also um, in other areas that they will be um, giving instructions that they will be influencing people and communities in other areas that they will make decisions. Um, so I think um, you really need to develop those key skills when they were still students. Um, but also you think about when the lawyer enter into a workforce, what happens is that they don't normally start at the bottom of the rank like some of other jobs. They start somewhere in the middle. You see many junior lawyers were tasked with training and developing other employees, such as legal assistants. Um, so if you don't help them to develop those skills earlier on, they'll find it really challenging to perform those tasks. And large law firms sometimes have structured leadership development, a career path or a strategy to facilitate these growth in junior lawyers, but you find many medium-sized law firms, they don't have that because they adopted a leaner approach, which means that when lawyers enter into the workforce, they being thrown into the deep end to perform, to manage. Um, they assume that they should just go with, with the duties. So for those firms, I would strongly recommend um, some sort of a leadership plan or mentoring should be in place as soon as the lawyers enter into your workforce. Um, it is not ideal when your lawyer has already started managing people and hit roadblocks before you developing and thinking of developing their leadership skills and giving them the first leadership skills.